Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to our brand new FIFA 22 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player view, another team of the week here on the channel today and it is the turn of the 89 rated Mar. Quinos. Yes, guys, the best center back in the world gets himself another team of the week, another 89 rated card. His team of the group stage is 89, but this 89 rated card uh, team of the week is a little bit better because he does have better passing and better dribbling, especially that agility and balance. So today we are going to be trying this insane card out. Out and we're gonna be seeing if he's definitely worth the 480,000 coins that did pay for this card. He's six foot, medium high, right footed, three star, three star. We get into the in game stats and they look phenomenal, guys. They look insane, as a matter of fact. First, 83 pace, 83 acceleration, 83 sprint speed. Good stuff there, guys. I uh, really love the pace on Marquinhos. I probably will be applying a shadow chemistry style because, or maybe an anchor, guys, to increase that strength and aggression out. The acceleration is sprint speed at 83. I love that combo, guys. He should feel fast on the on the pitch. 79 passing, guys. 88 short passing, 90 long passing. Fantastic. He's been known to play at CDM, so that's why he has incredible short and long passing. Dribbling of 78, 73 agility, 71 balance. You love to see that, guys. That is above average for a center back. 92 reactions, 91 composure as well. Uh, you love to see the 92 reactions uh, because his AI blocking should be insane. The ball control, good stuff there. Nothing to complain uh, from Marquinhos on the dribbling side. Defending of 91 is best out on the card. 90 interceptions, 91 defensive awareness, 91 standing tackle, 91 slide tackling as well. If I press circle, he should be able to get the ball back. And if any indication from his regular gold card and other special cards that he does have, this guy's going to be an insane center back. Definitely will last you until team of the season. And probably even the end of the game, to be honest. That is how broken Marquinhos is. Physical of 84, 86 stamina. Should last you the whole game. 95 jumping combined with the 90 heading accuracy. Hopefully we get a goal from a corner. He's been known to do that as well. 81 strength and 84 aggression does need a little bit of work. So now that I'm looking at that, we'll probably be applying an anchor chemistry style. Player traits, leadership, long passer, power header. And team player. Guys, I'm so excited to be trying out Marquinhos 89 rated team of the week card. Is he worth the pickup? Is he not? Can you tell a difference between his gold card and his in this card or the team of the group stage in this card? A lot of questions to be answered. So let's get on to the gameplay portion of the review. Vamos, Marquinhos. There we go. Perfect standing tackle. For sure, getting a team of the year this uh this upcoming week. Vamos, Marquinhos, let's go. Look at the pace of Marquinhos. Look at the pace of Marquinhos. Fantastic. And it's our ball. That is what you love to see from the defenders. And if you, you get this card in reds, you're set for the rest of the year. Nice dribbling from Marquinhos. He has been known to play CDM at, for PSG. He does not feel uh, clunky on the ball for sure, guys. So... If you're looking, if you're looking for a type of player that can convert from center center back to CDM, Marquinhos might be the option too. All right, guys, come on, Marquinhos, vamos! You've been known to score headers. Let's go, Marquinhos! Oh my goodness! Marquinhos, Marquinhos, get out of here. Vamos, Marquinhos, great coverage right there. Fantastic game, man. Oh. Como te, Marquinhos is just insane, man. No matter what version, you're going to get a end of the year card. Dale. Against Puskas. Against Puskas. Get out of here. Not on Team of the Week, Marquinhos. Loco. Thank you. I know uh, Kimpembe got that, but the ability of the awareness on Marquinhos to body Puskas. Fantastic. Double team right there. Nope. Not on Marquinhos. Well, guys, we got a red card with uh, Patrick Vieira by accident. 
And there we go. We got Marquinhos. So we got Marquinhos. I'm not even worried about it, guys. But I'll play as long <laughs> as possible before it becomes a mess. Oh my goodness, what a golazo from Marquinhos, guys. Wow. Perfect, Marquinhos, guys. I'm not even worried we got a red card because we got Marquinhos. Perfect coverage right there by Marquinhos. I don't know what else to show you guys. This guy's a shutdown center back. No matter what version you use. Look at that. Fantastic. 10 out of 10 performance from this team of the week. Marquinhos guys. Anchor. Well, I think was the way to go because the strength is in the 90s. The aggression is basically in the 90s as well. You got the 99 jump and we scored a golazo from the corner. And that is what you want from your center backs, man, to help you out in those corners. And Marquinhos definitely did with that head and accuracy as well. The reactions, elite level reactions, elite level composure. The pace was phenomenal. He did not get beat in any one-on-one -on -one occasions. And like I said, man, it doesn't matter what type of card you have with Marquinhos. He is going to be your best center back on the team and on your starting 11. And that's all you want from your center backs. And I'm not even overreacting, guys. This 89 rated card is special. Agility and balance, phenomenal. The cons, honestly, he has no cons, guys. I cannot think of a con for Marquinhos. He is the best center back in the game. Non-icon best center back in the game. And his team of the year is going to be on another level. Probably the best uh, broken meta. Best center back ever to be released in FIFA Ultimate Team history. Meta rating, I'll probably give it a 9 out of 10 because i gotta leave some room for the special other special cards he's gonna get 9.5 out of 10 for final fantastic stuff from marquinhos and i definitely want to get him in my red picks now that i have bander sad guys i can link him up easily because he does get a link even though i run with cordoba as well that is a fantastic duo if you ask me but i did run with kimpembe guys i was a sweat today and uh yeah so uh be aware guys marquinhos kimpembe it's game over but anyways, I will conclude today's review. Hopefully, it helped you out in deciding whether you want to get this card or not. And you enjoyed this review. Before I let you go, I just want to say thank you so much for your support on Instagram and YouTube lately. They have been killing it with the support. And I love seeing that, guys. So please take a second out of your day. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And expect more reviews later on. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye. And good night.